Hello. Dad, you're sideways. Where there am you I? Go. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm square. Now you're square. Welcome to uh, Office Hours or MagnaWave Live, also known as MagnaWave Live. I am Elaine Pauly. Um, and joining me is... What's I'm Pat name? Zemer. That's Pat Zemer. <laughs> And we're going to talk about all things MagnaWave today. Uh, we have a bunch of um, some new things that we want to share. We're definitely going to be talking about business builder, business um, uh, business things that we have going on, ways that you could grow your business. We're also going to talk about, um, you know, a couple other events that we have coming on. So first of all, hi, everybody. We got people in Nebraska. We got Texas. But more importantly, hi, Maureen. More importantly, Dad, Pat, where are you? Let me think, where am I? Oh, I'm in California. I'm in Los Angeles at the Beverly Hilton, a beautiful, beautiful hotel, beautiful area. And uh, we're here to uh, celebrate a book that we released last fall, Success in Any Economy with Brian Tracy, uh, received bestseller status. And so it's, uh, we get an award for that uh, Friday night. So we're here to do that. We're also part of our uh, producing that we're all involved in, uh, a couple of movies that are being released that we'll talk about as well this week, uh, uh, documentaries. And so we're excited about that. Yeah, so this this is like fantastic. As you, as many of you may know, my dad does have several books out there. Um, we're gonna give some away today at the end of the broadcast. We're also gonna give away, um, we're gonna do some giveaways. The way that you get involved in getting these giveaways is to interact in the comments, ask us questions, uh, interact with one another. That's how you are basically entering yourself into um, win one of these amazing books. And the book, Success in Any Economy, that is available on Amazon, correct? Correct. Correct. Success in Any Economy. If you are interested in that book, go to Amazon, wherever you know you want, on your phone, on the computer, look it up. Uh, you can get that book shipped directly to you. You know, um, the... the the thing about that book that's that's very interesting is not only is it our story about how we had to be successful through many different economies uh, as we've built the business, not only the national economy or the world economy, but various economies in, in your neighborhood, to how things change, how things change in your various cities. So we've had to adapt to that. And so it's a very interesting read and there's uh, 12 other authors, I believe, with very good stories about being successful in, a, in various economies. So it's a good learning read for our practitioners or for, for anyone. So we're just excited about that. And it was fun to work with Brian Tracy. I've been following him for 30 years. And so it was uh, very interesting to be able to participate with that. That's amazing. It kind of goes into um, one of the things that we have uh, available right now that I've been wanting to get up and going. We do have a business builder course here at MagnaWave and um, taking all of the things that I've learned from my dad and all the things that we've learned while working together and, um, you know, building MagnaWave. And that is our business builder course. It is, we accept 12 people. We're going to take 12 people this year. It is a course that is um, you purchase the course. You have to be a MagnaWave practitioner on a MagnaWave machine to take this course. It's six weeks long. Um, and the beautiful thing about it is, is it is really, it is live. It is in person. We do, we have webinars, we have um, guest speakers, and we really go through what is, uh, what really makes a business successful and how can you stay successful through any economy? Because when you're running a small business, as you and I both know, dad, it is daunting. It is scary. You have to have clear goals that you have to be able to track those goals. And a lot of times you, the, the unknown is the scary part. Like, what do I do next? How do I make these decisions? How do I grow from, um, you know, just me doing a job to uh, hiring someone and bringing something on? So that's what this course really is. It's not for those who are just starting their LLC. It's not for those that are uh, just starting their business, even though you can take it, but it really is for those people who are wanting to take their business to the next level. And I'm going to, I want you to answer these two questions. And this is how they know, dad, this is how they know if they should take the business better course. If you are growing, your business is growing right now, um, you're very busy, but you the only way someone can book with you is if they text you or call you directly. There is no other way for them to book. Um, and if you're not doing physically doing the job out there do it, working with your machine, uh, then you are not making money. Uh, then that you need to take this course. 
Um, or if you are looking, you're growing, you don't, and you know that you, maybe you already have all of those ways for people to book with you, but you don't know how to hire that next person. You don't know how to take that next step and get to where you want to be. Maybe you want to open a physical location, but it seems like such a big, far off dream that you just don't know how to realize it. That if you can answer either of those two questions and they are, that those apply to you, then you need to take the business builder course. Meredith, can you put that link up for, um, the practitioners, if you have questions, it's right there. QR code's right there. We'll put the link in the comments. Again, you have to sign into the portal to purchase this class. You have to sign into the practitioner portal. You have to have access to the portal. If you would like to just ask us questions in a minute, we'll put the questions link back up. If you can't get into the portal, we can help you. Yada, yada, yada. And, and don't you think these type of classes are very valuable, like continuing education while you're growing a business is important, don't you think? Well, actually, yes. And, and what you're talking about is when people want to grow their business and they have to decide, do I need another person? That's an economy issue. Do I need to, to have a different way of different softwares to get appointments and do things? Those are economy issues because if you do those properly, your economy grows. Your economy, it becomes more successful, if you will. And so just good, great reasons why people need to join the class, read books, study what's going on, talk with us about what we've done and uh, go forward in that respect. Yeah, I think educating yourself on um, is is part of it, right? Like you have to invest in yourself. So taking the class is definitely part. And, and we've learned so much, not only ourselves doing this, but with other practitioners and from other practitioners who have been in similar areas that you are. So the resources that we offer are so very important. Um, why wouldn't you take advantage of them? And a lot of times, you know, the hardest part about this is the self-reflection that you have to do when you run a business and looking, oh, wow, I've been doing this wrong, right? Um, a lot of times people get the class and they just can't scale, they can't grow. And I look at their name of their business or the way that they're marketing and it's kind of a hard, you know, um, for lack of a better word, come to Jesus conversation where you have to say, okay, look, this is not, the reason that you're running up against these things is not because, um, what you're doing, it's because of the way you're marketing or the way that you are promoting your business is not, it doesn't, it's not clear to the customer who you are. It's not clear what you offer. You're not, you know, so that those conversations are what we're going to have in this class. So the class is expensive and I'm going to tell you why it's expensive. Um, well, expensive is, is depends on who you are, but the class is $750. And if you're saying to yourself, whoa, that's a lot of money. I understand it is a lot of money, but let me tell you why it's $750 because I want you to have skin in the game. Okay, if you're going to take this course, I want you to work the entire six weeks with me and I want you to invest in it. This is not a free course. This is not a cheap course. This is a course for and, and we've taken courses, dad. I mean, that are two thousand, three thousand, ten thousand dollars where you we've learned and educated. Right. So to do something like this for seven hundred fifty dollars, it's not that it's too it's not too expensive. If you want to grow your business and you want to have some skin in the game, I want you to show up for class. I want you to make the sacrifice and I want you to work for it. And that's what really the price point is set so that you you feel the investment and you believe in what you're doing. I want people who aren't just going to come. I want you to come and then execute. That, that's absolutely right. Let me tell you, share a little story talking about economy or making changes in your business. And I'm going back to the very beginning, back in 2005, 2007, uh, when we were traveling extensively and, and working in Florida and Wellington and all these different places. And uh, uh, I would leave home in November and come back in April uh, after the winter season in, uh, in Wellington and the racetracks in Florida and so forth. And one time uh, we had this we had this station wagon. It was a it was a Chrysler van, and uh, it was used up. But we kept it going and kept using it, and you know it had some dings and so forth. And and uh, one day some we I was talking to somebody and they said you know you need a different ride, and I said what are you talking about? And he said well you know your stuff works and and these people know you and they like you, but you know when you pull in here you don't look like you're being very successful, and. And I thought, oh, maybe we need to look a little bit more successful in order to continue to be successful. And so uh, we went and bought another, uh, bought another car and couldn't do it, didn't have the funds to do it really, but we financed it and away we went. And, but you know what? It changed. When, when you're successful and you look successful and you be successful, you will be successful. And that's just a little tidbit of something that, that happened to us and a suggestion to what to do, and it, it, it worked. 
Yeah, and sometimes your pricing is the problem. We've talked about this a lot in the past that people, um, they, you know, people believe that they, they, they get what they pay for. And if you are underpriced or you are not pricing correctly, um, if you are having to just drop prices constantly in order to grow your business, that's a problem. So we need to work on the value and how you communicate that to your customers. Another story. So I was in uh, uh, um, Philadelphia. I think we were in Philadelphia. Doesn't make any difference. Um, but we were at the National Horse Show and I was treating horses. This was just after we began. And at the time, I was charging $75 a horse. And I was working in this stall, and there was a veterinarian chiropractor uh, who I've known very, very well over the years. And he was in the next stall and doing his work. And uh, he finished up, and I finished up, and I was leaving. He said, can I talk to you for a minute, Pat? And I said, sure. He said, um, I'm going to give you some advice. And I said, all right. He said, raise your price. And I said, what are you talking about? I said, you know, I'm doing okay, $75 a horse. I finished it in about a half an hour. And he said, no, in this market, in this, in this area, people believe they get what they pay for. And what you're charging is not similar to what other people who are professional and growing their businesses and providing services are charging. And I thought, oh, okay. So I raised my price that day to $125, thinking that the next day I wouldn't have any business. <laughs> from that from that type of move but what was strange is that nobody flinched everybody stayed and it actually grew because same thing just like the car you 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 are what you project and you are what you're trying to build and uh, that's just another little sidebar to to this whole conversation yeah you're absolutely right we had we had some questions about products on here dad um we, above earlier, I don't remember exactly who said it, but she asked if um, the red light with the rock red light, how often can you use it and how long like does a session last? Um, do you want to talk a little bit about the 30 and 60 seconds and how, how sure. you move the red light? Sure. You know, the red light, it, it's a good, powerful device, so it does not take long, long sessions. It gets warm if you have it on your skin. So sessions are 30 seconds to a minute. If you want to go a couple of minutes, you can do that, but you can maybe stop for 10 seconds between the, the interval so it cools down a little bit, so it's not too uh, hot on, on the surface. Same thing with an animal. Uh, when, when you're treating the animal, you want to make sure whether they're dark-skinned animal or lighter-skinned, because that makes a difference in how the heat is absorbed, how the light is absorbed. And so that type of session is really perfect. And you, can, you could go, you could work an area for a couple of minutes, uh, just by being in intervals, spacing it out between sessions for just five or 10 seconds, that type of situation, but it's very effective in that manner. Yeah. Um, okay. So let's see if we have any other questions here before we move on to another topic. Um, let's see. When will the MagnaWave store on Vistaprint be available for all practitioners? It'll be available soon. Within the next few days, you're going to be able to access that from the portal, April. Um, or Sarah, Sarah asked that, um, we're going to post the dates, the, the dates for every single business builder course that will be posted in the portal as well. Uh, I believe it's at four o'clock on Thursdays, but I think I could pull up a little bit more on that. Let's see. Um, questions, questions. What is the size difference between the two pet mats and the mag energy mat? So, um, the pet mat, the mag energy mat. Hold on, hold on. Let me grab. Let me grab. She's gonna grab one. Grab the pet, the mat. I'll show you some uh, California stuff here. Okay. As, she, as she's doing that. Okay, we're back. Here's the pet mat. <laughs> I mean, this is the mag energy mat, right here. Um, the difference is in the thickness. So, uh, they're the, they're the same size in terms of the actual size, but if you look at this. You see the thickness here. The pet mat is going to be thicker. It's going to have um, a large a, a, a thickness on there because it's going to have actually a lot more stuffing and it's more protected so that if a, a animal is on there, like even uh, any animal, a pig, any, anything, or specifically a dog um, is chewing or scratching with their claws, that it's not going to actually damage the uh, mat at all. And even if liquid substances get on there, it's not as detrimental as it would be possibly on the other 
and it's supposed to feel good. Like you want your pet to be able to lay on this. A lot of times people get that pet mat and they lay on it whenever, the dog lays on it even when the machine's not there and not plugged in. It becomes a safe place, a comfortable place that stays on the ground sometimes for some people, especially if they have a dog that's um, scared or skittish. And when you bring the machine and the loops out, this gives them, they feel the comfort of being there, uh, their safe place where they're at. That is Perfect. the idea. And there, it. it's an antimicrobial material so you keep it clean but it's also helps keep it clean yes um let's see so we said uh lola says i dropped the rock on a tile floor yesterday and it came back on without an issue uh that is amazing um and then hannah says with the rock dark versus light colored horses how long do we stay in one area between between these colors um if they're light or dark don't you think i usually do the 30 second setting um, whenever there it's a darker, um, skin or even a darker, uh, hair. And then if it's a lighter, I do the 60 second and then I move it. How does that sound to you, Dan? Oh, that sounds perfect. That sounds perfect because it, it does, it does get warm if, if it's touching the skin. So we want the light effect. The heat is a good thing as far as blood circulation is concerned. So you're get, really getting two therapies in one there in terms of application but that 30 to 60 seconds is, is perfect. Yeah, and the thing is, is that the, especially with the animals, they don't talk. So <laughs> if you didn't know, uh, so one of the things is that you wanna just be careful. You don't want them to be uncomfortable, right? So you wanna just keep it moving. Um, somebody asked the question, is it more effective to hover on an acupuncture point or to paint with the red light? What do you think? I think you wanna hover closer to the point you want yeah. to be on the point. Now you could paint the area, if you will, like you're brushing uh, after you stimulate the point for 30 seconds. You could do a brushing movement around the area to help the blood circulation around the area of the acupuncture point. And excuse me, bones jiggling. And if your acupuncture point is for another area, you know, it's a, a related area of the body, you could stimulate the acupuncture point and then go paint over the area or treat with the MagnaWave or session with the MagnaWave over the area after you, the area that the acupuncture point is stimulated. Yep, that's exactly right. Shan says she's getting ready to order a rock. She's very excited. And Deb with your pricing says, I just changed my pricing from 60 to 100 for large animals and I still have clients calling lots from word of mouth. So there you go. Like it, you have updated your pricing. It doesn't end, it isn't the end of the world. Um, Let's see if we have, so if you are, let's see. Mag Energy Mat is on my list. People are saying, I love the Pat Mat, use it on myself. Um, nerve pain. Okay, so Maria says, I do a dog weekly and she loves the mat so much. She sees it and jumps on it and lays down ready for her session. So they have that really positive experience with the mat. Um, I don't know how many people don't have or do have the Mag Energy Mat, but what I was thinking again, Something that we could do today is right. if you, we could let people, if they purchase a machine, um, you know, like until, I don't know, next week sometime, they could, we could just give them a mag energy mat. You want to give them a mat if they buy a machine? Yeah, like just give them the mag energy mat if oh. they buy a machine for the next oh, few days. Okay. And I think we should do that. Well, I don't know, but, but should we do that with the Spiro Click as well, like because that that machine only comes with the XL Wave Wings. So if they buy a Spiro Click, they would get the mat and the, the XL Wave Wings. That's a deal. Everybody's going to be really mad if we do that. But I think everybody is telling us in here how much they love their mat. So I think that's a good idea. Uh, right. Let us know in the comments what you guys think, if you think that's a good idea. Um, how long would you keep the rock on a hoof? Example for white line or abscess. You know, it's, it would not be because you're not a laser, so you're not, you don't have that issue to be worried, be concerned about from the laser aspect. So I think you could do a couple of minutes on a, on a hoof very easily. I agree. Um, David asks, if you're using the rock on the top line of a horse, could you do only 60 seconds total or 60 seconds each side of the spine or longer? Um, I'd say 60 seconds each side of the spine or moving down the spine. And again, you could you could put that right in the middle of your large loop and treat with your large loop moving down the spine and the red light, the rock at the same time. 
Yeah, that's the beautiful thing about the rock is that you can use it at the exact same time. So you could have um, you could have a dog on the mag energy mat. They could be getting a session and then you could actually put that red light on top of them and work through on their body. That's, you know, it, you're lessening your time. So you're, you know, you're getting more done in less time. Um, and you're not going to damage either one. Lots of comments about people dropping them and then being in good shape. This is a workhorse. I mean, this is really, uh, these are made in the USA right here uh, in our factory here in Louisville, Kentucky. They are 100% uh, well-made, strong. We are not talking about a cheap process here. Uh, they're really built to last and built to run and built to be shielded there for, for you to use while you're magnet waving to help cut your time in, and time is money. So help your business be more successful by adding more stuff to your toolbox. So it all comes full circle. Having these extra attachments, having these extra things is really great for you to, in order to market and sell um, your services. Perfect. Okay. Another question here. My client's nearly 40 year old mini donkey isn't halter broke, but when she sees me in the barn, she trots in on a lead like a champ. Her owner cracks up every time. Too bad she doesn't do that for the farrier. <laughs> That's not a question, but it is funny. Um, that is that is very true. A lot of people ask if we could give away a rock. I don't know about that, but maybe. Um, we have another question from Wendy and Ryan Robertson. We have a horse with a bad cut on a leg. No bleeding now. How often to treat with rock? How long for each session? Same thing. I would treat for a minute or so, a couple of minutes maybe, uh, around the area. And, as you, and certainly MagnaWave as well. Uh, on the area, but you you could do that daily if you chose to while while it's healing. Yeah, and I think that um, absolutely. And how long? Um, you know, just sixty seconds, right? I mean, it doesn't take long to put that energy in there and for the body to absorb that energy and utilize it. And no. you don't have to overdo it. You just just do it and and make it correct. Okay, so uh, Hannah says the Magna Energy mat and the box is on my wish list, which I think she means the mat guard. Uh, she works on tons of horses with hoof issues, and it takes me longer using my butterfly and large loop, so I could save a lot of time with this bundle. Would love to win it. That's a great bundle. I mean, that mat guard, when you could put both hooves on the act on the mat guard at the same time, it is amazing. It really is. And when we used to do the Zoom paddle and the Zoom backs, which we still do, but that was the only way we had to really do um, – that was specialized for that area. People would tell us all the time, dad, and how do you get the horse to stand on there? Right? They would ask, how do you do that? Well, they like it, right? The horses like it. It's not hard to get them to step up you're, on that you're mat. You're breaking up. I'm sorry, I missed your last. It's not hard to get them to stand on the mat. It's not difficult to get them to stand on the mat um, or to me? stand on the Zoom panel. I think I'm losing them. No, and you know, and and the initial response when we first started doing this is you'd put it you'd put it in the box or you'd put it on the bottom of their on the bottom of their foot. When I was at Churchill and I didn't have a box, uh, I actually had them put the uh, put the paddle in the on the hay or the straw, if you will, or the bedding, and have them put their foot right on top of it. It was durable. It withstood that. It it wasn't the best case scenario for long term care, but it worked. And but sometimes the first few times you treat that type of area. They're, they're a little sensitive to it. They're not sure what's going on. And so they're not sure how it's going to feel. But once they get used to it, and once they understand how it makes them feel, they'll stand right on it. Yeah. And they'll, and, and that's the best part. They like it. Just like the woman who... Are you getting that? I got it. I got it. Um, let's see here. Horses love it. People are saying it will stand without a problem. If a client has sunburn, is the rock still safe to use? Caitlin, um, I would just let their sunburn heal. Um, I don't think it's a safety thing. I just think that when you have sunburn, you don't really want anything to touch you. So I would just allow that to have time to, um, you know, come down on its own uh, before using any product. Um, Jessica says my horse just does, and he doesn't move with the Zoom paddle and box. He loves it. Let's see any other questions. If you guys have any questions about sessions, I do have a couple things that I want to go through here. Um, one of the things is we are going to be at the North American, uh, livestock show, the dates, Meredith, can you put those dates up, please? Uh, that will be November 7th through the 21st here in Kentucky. It's a long time. That's at Louisville, uh, convention center there or at the, um, 
Yeah, Convention Center. So that's the North American Livestock Show. That is November 7th through the 21st. We'll also be at the um, RRP. Uh, when is that? Do you have those dates, Meredith? Do you have the um, Five Star, the Maryland Five Star dates? We can put those up. We're going to be at the Maryland Five Star. If you want to come out and see us, that is October 17th through the 20th. So if you are in those areas, please come see us, especially if you're here in Louisville. We'd love to see you. We'd love to have you come out. And thank you to all of the practitioners that agreed to um, help us with those shows. So let's see. How often should a horse with wobblers get sessions? Horse was recently diagnosed in July, has not fallen over, but balance issues are getting worse. I know that wobblers needs continuous sessions, so it's something that you don't, you can't stop. You have to keep going. Dad, do you have anything to add with wobblers? Uh, I would say as certainly as often as necessary, you know, the routine treat as long as function continues to improve and then as often as necessary to maintain the function. But in, in a neurological situation like that, where you're dealing with nerves and, and muscular issues, uh, certainly it's going to take a, a regimen of, of services to try to stay on top of it and get ahead of it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Barbara is asking about on the full body mat with the vibroacoustic therapy, are the internal coils any tighter than those of the mag energy mat? No, but there are more of them in there to cover the entire amount of that mat. Um, let's see. I've been working, uh, da, 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 trying to get some questions. Let me make sure we got all of them here. Um, let's see. I bought the mat at MagnaCon and it's amazing. My navicular horse stands on it and he licks his lips and seems relaxed. So that's wonderful. That's great. I mean, those releases are so very, very important. Um, all the horses I've used MagnaWave and Red Light on have loved it. And I, I would really like to, you know, get your all's feedback. What do you like about the rock being able to use it? Have you seen a, have you seen a difference in your time of your sessions when you're using that rock at the same time um, as using your MagnaWave while you're MagnaWaving? Like if you've had really great success with that, please share that because, and the rock is, um, it is, you know, you don't have any cords. It's battery operated. It does come with two battery. So one that's in it, one that's in here that you charge. So when your battery runs out, you can act, absolutely replace it. But I would love to know um, how you've done, you know, how it's worked for you guys, if you are using both modalities at the same time, because we've had it now since February and uh, we've sold hundreds of them. And I'd really like to hear how people are doing with that. Have you used it, uh, dad, yourself at the same time? And have you noticed uh, any of those results? Uh, yes, I have. Uh, when I, uh treating my uh, my spurs i'll use them both at the same time and it it, it makes treatment time uh, sometimes when i treat my neck and my upper back for the spurs uh, i'll go 20 or 30 minutes uh, for a session when i'm using the rock i might only go 10 because i'm more concentrated on the area and uh, so that that just helps speed things along but i love it uh, it's very and it's very durable because i'm not easy on things i have a tendency to drop things and throw things and so forth. So no way. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, but it. it uh, I enjoy using it, and uh, and certainly. Um, okay, so we have somebody who says here. Uh, back to pricing. I was offering free demos and was not having returns on my time, so I pivoted. Now I offer a twenty five dollar discount for demos, and my return rate on clients has doubled. Don't be afraid to pivot and change your game plan with your business. Think outside the box. That's an economy situation. You got to be able to figure out how to make it work in the economy that the people are giving to you. And they, they, they need to see the value. And by charging, you're providing the value. They understand that. It's fair. And they'll come to you. Uh, a question. What is the best way to clean attachment covers and attachments themselves? So attachment covers, you want to just wash them in warm water and hang them up to dry. Uh, but the attachments themselves, what do you recommend, uh, Dad, for people how to clean those? Oh, I recommend, you know, there's a lot of wipes that are usable uh, with various disinfectants and so forth. Uh, I used to use uh, so just some water with some silver in it. I would put some uh, Hydro Wave in the water and would uh, use that at the same time to help clean, keep them clean and uh, so forth. And so that's a good way to do it. It disinfects as it cleans them. So you can use a spray. Some people use it, various sprays uh, to clean them, but that's just do it. I mean, it's, it's just a good thing. Uh, the wipes are incredible that you can use, the Clorox wipes or whatever wipe you want to use. They're very effective. Yeah, and I, I agree. So it's just about, the, 
the beautiful thing about the covers is that it does protect your coils from any type of yellowing and it really does help them last longer but you can you don't want to wash them in a um like washing machine you just want to clean them in no. warm water soap and water that's that's it for those covers um let's see lots of questions here do you have to clean the rock well, uh, if you're using it, you're, you're, you're treating animals with it, you certainly want to wipe it off uh, between sessions to keep it clean, keep it disinfected uh, from that type of uh, perspective. So certainly you want to keep it in uh, good, clean shape. I wouldn't run it under the water, but uh, certainly keep it wiped off and keep it clean. So really interesting change uh, This is that Stephanie is, is bringing up here. She's talking about the protocol for EPM, and there has been a slight shift as more veterinarians have been um, understanding what we are and what MagnaWave is and how it works. So I'm going to, you know, talk to, I'm going to explain what Stephanie's asking. She said, is the protocol for EPM still to wait until after treatment? I've read recent posts in the practitioner group over the last few years. More practitioners and vets are recommending sessions during treatment. When would you recommend to start MW sessions? And I really think that that comes down to the veterinarian. Yes. When, when we first started, uh, two things. We knew that if we had an, an animal with EPM, we need to continue treatments and continue sessions uh, on that particular animal. Uh, so if you maintain and get ahead of the of the situation uh, and at the beginning, because veterinarians didn't know they didn't, they were just very precautious about what we were doing. Uh, they recommended that we didn't treat. Now there are more veterinarians that feel because we know it will enhance the medication process. It will enhance the metabolization. It will enhance if they're if the if the parasite is decaying and needs to be moved away from the body. Why not get going on that as soon as possible? So it's up to your individual veterinarian. Certainly, we want to follow their direction and and what they prefer. But that's that's how it changed. It was kind of like colic. We you can't treat a horse with colic. You just can't do it until one day somebody called and said, hey, I got a horse that's gonna die. My veterinarian says, put it down tomorrow. I called my vet, said, can I do this magna wave on it? And the vet says, well, I guess if you want to, we're gonna put the horse down tomorrow. And the horse survived, everything was wonderful. Next thing you know, more and more veterinarians are recommending us for colic treatments and various protocols in that, in that area. Things change, things are understood differently as we go along. And that's what happened in those two cases. Absolutely. So Alicia said, can the rock benefit a navicular horse or is that blocked too much by the hoof wall? Absolutely. Well, no, it, you, you know, if you're coming at the hoof from the bottom, you, you know, it's not going to penetrate the, the bone, but it will, if you come at the hoof from the bottom or on the top coming in from the, not the hoof wall, but the top of the top of the hoof area or from the bottom of the foot, just hold it, hold the rock under it. There is soft tissue there. So you will get light into the area. You will help improve the circulation to the area, which is very beneficial in the vicular. If, it, if there's not degradation, but it's just inflammation of the bursa or it's a stress in the area, then the, then the magna wave or the rock will be very beneficial to aid in delaying any further development. And if there is degradation, what you want to do is, is try to control that. You want good circulation in the area so the bone can be as nurtured as possible and to keep it from degrading anymore. And, and that, that, that's a choice that we would like to achieve. Yes. Um, Cindy Scott asks, should a rock be sent in from time to time for maintenance like we do our machines? No, it does not need to come in for maintenance. There's no required maintenance on the rock. Uh, the only time you would send it in is if you had a problem with it. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't functioning properly. So there is no required um, maintenance on there. So I've got, we've gotten to several questions. A lot of these questions are vet focused questions. So uh, one of the things I wanted to uh, show you guys here that is coming up this month. Uh, let me pull it up. I'm going to share my screen. Um, that I think is, is, you know, when you have these type of questions, you have these type of, you, you really, you want to understand what's going on. You want to understand uh, maybe your specific indication and what's happening. And maybe you, the vet that you haven't been able to talk to a, the, a vet about it, or you want to go approach a vet about it. And you know, what would be beneficial for you is to actually speak with a vet before that. So one of the things that we are now offering um, here is vet talk. 
Uh, the next vet talk or the first vet talk ever will be Q. It'll be a question and answer about magnet waving animals. It's in 22 days, Wednesday, September 25th, 6.30 to 7.30. Now you do have to sign up for this. You can go uh, right here. This is the practitioner portal. Uh, there, ignore that person in the middle there. But the vet talk is, uh, you can see it right here, 22 days. And you can just go right up to the top and hit subscribe. Um, that's going to alert you for our what you know us being live right now. And also, it's going to alert you to all of the vet talks coming up so that you can register for those. So we'll be doing those monthly with Dr. Alicia Baumler. I'm really excited uh, about this, and Dr. Baumler is amazing. So that will be coming up. I want all of the practitioners to go subscribe and add those events to your calendar. Um, and you can also see right here, you can sign up with that biz business builder class right here in the portal. So uh, again, vet talk is coming up here on September 25th at 6 30, PM. You say to yourself, Elaine, why are we having this so late? Uh, the reason that we are doing it uh, in the evening is because a, it works really, uh, you know, Dr. Bombler is a practicing vet. So this works really great for her, but it also works really great for those of you who may be on different sides of the country. We're trying out different ways for us to uh, really talk to people and, and have attendance and have you come. So that will, you will be able to ask questions during that webinar. Uh, you will be able to, um, you know, network with other people very much like this, but it will be a closed forum. It will not be live on social media. It will only be if you sign up and subscribe there to that vet talk. If you would like to subscribe to text notifications, you can scan the QR code right here. That's going to be almost every single time we go live, we will text you. Now, like I did last Friday, I went live just rogue myself on Facebook. Uh, that may happen. That is just me be me. That has nothing to do necessarily with me alerting the entire company. I just wanted to share something with you guys um, as one does on social media. Business Builder course is right there above my dad's head. If you would like to sign up for that, we have 12 spots. Six of them are already sold. It's $750. You can get more information in the portal or right there on that QR code. So make sure that you sign up for that if you want to be in. the. St it starts in October. It is a six-week course. Um, okay. I'm excited about that talk. It's something brand new that we're offering those in certification training and those who are already certified or who own a machine. So this is available for machine owner, owners, certified practitioners, or those who are currently in certification training. It should be a good, you know, that's time. amazing. That, that is absolutely incredible. Going back to when we, when we first started and, and the veterinarians wouldn't talk to me uh, or they thought I was nuts and, and uh, I thought I was doing something illegal whatever, however you want to, however you want to phrase that. And all of a sudden today, we're to the point that we have tremendous veterinary customers, veterinarians that work with our practitioner, practitioners uh, hand in hand with their, with their services. And now vet talk, it just elevates the game as far as your credibility in your community and the answers that will be provided that people will, will believe and, and will pay attention to you. And that's what it's all about. That's the economy that you're going to improve is having a broader field of, of support. Yes. I, and so um, I completely agree. You know, that talk is a great resource for you all. Some people are asking if they could invite their vet. Um, I think it was Barbara who asked that. Barbara, if you would like to come on with your vet or maybe I'll let them in, that's fine as long as you're on the call as well because it is a closed forum and in order to subscribe or be part of it you do have to be certified so you would have to give them uh the access after you received it um and they can then talk and ask questions as, as well now dr bobler is already a resource here at magnawave so if you would like to email education at magnawavepmf.com you can email uh questions those will be sourced out to dr bobler if they need to be like if a vet is interested or you have questions or you'd like to connect uh, those questions will be responded to within 24 to 48 hours. So give her time. Again, she is a practicing veterinarian. So she works during the day, but she will be responding to those questions as they come in. So uh, Dr. Baumler is part of the team. She is a key leader here at MagnaWave and will be working with us as we grow. We are also looking for more vets. I'm looking to build a team, a board of veterinarians who would like to be available and work with us. Uh, there are paid positions available as well. So if you have a vet in your life who is a passionate MagnaWave uh, person who would love to be part of our team or is interested in something like this, um, you know, send them our way. You can email us uh, at support at magnawavepmf.com uh, with a uh, emphasis on um, Elaine. So send it to Elaine uh, with that, you know, say care of Elaine, like you would a package, but put in there, veterinarian interested uh, for this email is for Elaine, send that to support at magnawavepmf.com. And I would love to uh, get in contact with some of these veterinarians.
Um, oh, and the, so a couple questions about the business builder course. Is it directly with Elaine? Yes. The business builder course is me. Uh, I will be doing a one-on-one -on -one call with you. I will then be able, then uh, before we get started, then we will come together as a group of 10 or 12. Um, we will all be live in a webinar type of forum where we will introduce ourselves. We will go through what we're doing, what our goals are, and then we will start. There is a booklet that you work through. There are goals that you set. There is homework, unfortunately, that you have to complete in order for you to uh, go through the course. We will meet once a week like that. And then you will have the availability during this business better course to actually schedule 15 to 30 minute phone calls with me in between classes. So if let's say one class is challenging or you have questions or you're hitting a roadblock, you could schedule that extra time in between the courses where you and I can just kind of go through those problems um, and, and figure those out where it's just us and not anyone else in the course. So again, that is six weeks uh, and you will be able to meet with me before the class and then during the class as well as live during those one hour. And I say one hour classes, sometimes I go long, believe it or not, right? Um, I talk a lot. So sometimes it can be an hour and a half. So those are in the evening. So those are, that is the business builder course. I do this one time a year. So the next class will be the fall of 2025. So you either take it now or hold your peace until next year. Um, and then we will uh, do it again. And the dates vary based on um, when I do this during the year, based on my availability. So um, yes, and the business builder course does work for Aura as well. So don't don't worry about that. Um, let's actually, it works good for any anything any you want to do. If you're if you're adding a modality or you're doing things, you're going to need the 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 information you're going to learn in this course to help implement additional products into your business. Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's a very it is a course that obviously is specified for use of PMF products because that's what I do and that's what we're talking about, but. It really can be like correlated once you like break it down the goals and what we're trying to do could be, you could take this into any business that you open as you grow. Like if you want to, um, if somebody else is opening a business, it's just really great ways to hold yourself accountable and set the goals and get a really, you know, sometimes, like I said in the beginning, it could be extremely daunting. Um, and, and when you are running a business yourself, it's scary and so this is a way for you to build that road path you know that that path so it's not so frightening and you have a plan um julie says she did three sessions with my alpaca alpaca he had stopped ruminating his digestion restarted i thought i was going to lose him so isn't that great rumination is something that i have been learning a lot about with dairy cows recently and how important rumination is for those animals that uh do that ruminate like how you can really tell how they're doing in terms of their health. Uh, I wasn't as aware of this until we got into dairy cows. And we see a lot of the same things with dairy cows where they will, uh, their rumination will drop off. There's a lot of apps that they that dairy farmers track this. And that's when they know that there could be an issue like mastitis, uh, an infection there. That's when they bring in the PMF. Uh, we've done several studies. We have another one going on at a university right now showing that we can really help with those mastitis and those issues in dairy cows. We have a blog post and a research about that on our website, magnumatepmf.com. You go to that research tab or the blog tab and you're going to find that information. It's great if you are interested in reaching out to a new demographic there with dairy cows or any ruminating animal for that matter. So thank you for sharing that. Uh, Jennifer says the business builder class is so helpful. Well, thank you, Jennifer, for saying that. Um, Lacey says that my vet clinic, one that is very open to discussion about alternative therapies, the other just don't, doesn't want to talk about it. Well, Lacey, that's really normal. Unfortunately, yeah, very normal. Yeah. And, and we see it's that across a, it's the board. unfortunate. Yeah. But but it's, with it's, everything that happens, when you just talk about dairy cattle, if you're not in the into the cattle market, you're only into horses or only into small animals. That's wonderful. But what this is going to bring to the table is more information that vets can't question. They're going to understand it. They're going to see the science behind it. And, and that's why we're going down these roads in order to produce good science that's applicable to to everything, all devices. And as you know, uh, in the in the medical space, many, 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 many things get developed in the veterinary space and then they go on from there. And so 
the, the road that we're heading down there, not only is it fun to talk about, but it's just going to, again, add better credibility and better authority to your story as you uh, work to build your business. Um, so Crystal says she'd love to take take the course, but would there be any other time options? She works in the evening. So Crystal, um, you can take the course now. I only I only do the evening classes, but you could still do the one on one with me. You can watch the classes afterwards on your own time and then still do the calls with me weekly. So you and I would still talk. We would still go through it. You just wouldn't be live during the course. So you can do that if that's the only time that you can. And you can't you have to work every time. Um, that is an option. And I've had people do that in the past. As long as you schedule those weekly calls with me and you keep up with your work and watching the videos, you will get just as much out of the course. Perfect. Okay. Um, Shelly says your link will let me add to sign up. Shelly, as long as you have to be logged in to sign up. So if you are not logged into the portal, please make sure that you log in because you do have to be a, a manual machine owner. If you have any issues logging in, just hit your reset password and that will get you back in there. Um, let's see. It looks like the media library or call is support. Right if you now. have continued problems, reach out to support. Yeah. Any other problems support at manuapmf.com. We will take care of you. Any info on strangles protocol. How long after barn is cleared? Can we return to Magnawave? strangles is, is, uh, is to the stringer train all nose discharge slart slight discharge T E M. I don't know what that means, but do you have any information on the strangles protocol? Well, you know, it's extremely contagious and, and you need to be very careful with, with the cleanliness situation and being uh, around the issue. And, and so that we want to work with the veterinarian. You want to make sure that the, the farm or the barn is, is adequate, adequately treated to uh, prevent any additional uh, problems or any additional, in, uh, you know, where it could be caught to transmit it, if you will. So all that's important, but once they're under control and they're and they're basically clean from the situation, but there is some discomfort, wave away, and, and uh, but work with your vet and work with your customer. But please make sure that everything is is adequately taken care of as far as the, the, the cleanliness and so forth. Yeah, Jessica says different vets will say different things, but ours, her, uh, Jessica said, forty eight hours after they no longer show a fever and the barn has been deep cleaned. So that's what that's what her vet is saying. Um, that's perfect. Lots, lots of questions about when a animal should have a magnum wave session. Should they have that magnum wave session uh, before chiropractic care or after? I'm going to grab something while you answer that. Okay. Oh, all right. Uh, so here's what we've done is, is in various situations. At one time, uh, we had a, a, a chiropractor in florida who did equine chiropractic and her husband was a practitioner and what they would do is they go to a farm or go to a customer and they would treat the animal for 10 minutes prior to her or his wife doing the adjustment and then they would treat for 10 to 20 minutes after the adjustment to help the recovery and the inflammation reduction and all of those type situations that are that occur and there was a lot of conversation about that i'll never forget i went to uh, phoenix one time to do a uh, demonstration and i was with a customer and a veteran and a chiropractor and a chiropractor was having trouble getting this uh treating this horse's neck and and upper back or top line back and i said well let's treat it he said that's not going to work i said all right give me five minutes i treated that horse's neck his shoulders and then the, the uh, chiropractor went back in. The, the stretch around was tremendously increased. He was able to adjust the animal that he had difficulty doing prior to that. So going pre-treatment or pre-session is never a bad situation to do. It always can be very beneficial to the uh, chiropractor's application of their methods. And then post, again, a lot of times they'll put them back in shape, they'll put them back in alignment, but the inflammation may still be there. So we want to help get rid of the inflammation post-treatment as well. Pre and post is excellent, just like it is uh, for any other type situation. Exactly. So um, it says on this uh, QR code right here that there's only 10 Are you locked up? Left. Yep, I, I can hear you, John. You're good. Um, it says there's only 10 spots left in the business builder course. That's not true. I think we have about four left as of right now. So just letting you guys know if you want to do this. There was a question asked about um, if the business builder course is any other time. 
next year. Again, I, I only do this once a year. It's incredibly time consuming and, and I want to focus on that when I do it. So it's it's six weeks, one time a year. And then look what I found, Dad. You see it? I think he's a little delayed. Do you see it? Yeah. Pardon me? Do you see your book? No. Oh, there it is. I yeah. see it. Success in any economy. I'm it's, gonna give away reads, one of these. Okay, it's reading backwards, but that's a great book and a uh, lot of good stories in there. Don't don't read it for my story or our story. Read it for all the other stories that are in there because you can glean a lot of great information. And and Dad, is this available in audiobook form yet, or will that is that something that they will do? Uh, the book is not available in audio, although I'm working on doing audios of my particular chapters and uh, with some of the other authors to put a uh, audio package together on several of the chapters so yes that's under development okay great we have a i've got two more giveaways that i'm going to do uh in just a second i'm going to show those to you guys but um daisy has a really really cool story she wanted to share uh her family's senior dog came up very lame on his right hind swelling hot etc non-weight bearing vets were closed due to the holiday um daisy magna waved his foot with the with her soul pro for 15 minutes on a level eight and the next morning a giant abscess blew and he was up and moving we did another session after and he was running the next day so that is amazing thank you for sharing that story daisy we love those type of positive stories and i'm happy to hear that your dog is doing better or your parents dog is doing better um okay let's see we're gonna give one of these away and we're also let me show you I got two Mag Energy mat bags, and I'm gonna tell you what's in here, okay? We have uh, a hoodie, a, a water bottle, a baseball hat, a copy of the News and Views. Hold on, let's get that out. If you haven't seen the News and Views and you are a Magnaway practitioner, you're gonna love this. So this is the News and Views. This is an excellent magazine. It's an excellent resource for you guys to share and market your business. Got incredible information. In the practitioner Facebook group, there's also ways that several people have, um, you could search news and views or the word stickers. There's ways for you to order stickers for you to be able to uh, place them on here for your own use. So we got some news and views. We got a, a really cool hat. We have two of these goodie bags. And then I'm going to give away this Mag Energy mat. So that's three giveaways. I'm going to give away the Mag Energy mat that I have been using here in my office today. So we're going to do a, th a four giveaways, a book. Well, we'll just give the book with all of them. We'll get the book with all of them. So we're going to do three of them. We're just going to put a book with each one. One of them, two of them are going to be the um, uh, bags there with the book inside. And then the other one is going to be that Mag Energy mat. If you would like to uh, purchase a machine, you're interested in buying a machine, um, then we are going to, I have to tell everybody, I don't know how this is going to work, but we are going to give away a Mag Energy mat with every single machine purchase now through the end of the day next Tuesday. So if you would like to get a machine, we're just, I'm going to give away a Mag Energy mat with any machine purchase. And that includes the Spiro Click. So if you've looked at having a rental machine, a rent to rent machine, something like that, um, that includes the Spiro Click. That means that you could get a Spiro Click and also get that mat. Uh, so that you could do small animals, you could use it in a chair on the floor or wherever and have that second attachment. That is our only machine that that comes with one attachment, it only comes with the XL Wave Wings. If you would like to get that second attachment at no additional charge, you could do that now until Tuesday. So if you have any questions or information, you have anything, uh, Meredith, can you put the questions QR code up, please? If you have questions about that, you have questions about the business builder, you have questions about anything, there are two places that you could go. You can go to the questions QR code above my dad's head right there, or you could scan that, or you could just go to magnawavepmf.com and fill out any form that has notes on it, um, and we will connect you, or you can go to your product specialist. If you have questions about the Mag Energy Mag giveaway, please reach out to your product specialist or fill out that questions form. Purchase, oh, look, we already have purchases made this week. We'll get a free Mag Energy Mag, and somebody is going to win one while we're here. And speaking of pricing, Starting January 1st of this, of um, January 1st, 2025. So the end of this year, first day of next year, we are raising prices on our machines. I know that that sounds terrible, but I will say this. We're giving you plenty of warning about it. We've talked about doing this for the last three years. Um, it, it We have come to a breaking point where some of the machine prices are going to dress, are going to change. So pricing is going to increase 
uh, for our machines starting January 1st. I know that's not a popular comment that's coming out of my mouth. One of the reasons I waited till the end of the broadcast to say it, but I do want you guys to know it is happening. So if you're interested in getting a machine from us or you have somebody that's interested in getting a machine, like a friend, a family member, a customer, please have them do that. I don't want, I want to give fair warning that this pricing change is coming um, because I think that that's the best way to go about doing it and the most fair and honest way to go about doing it. So that will be happening January 1st of 2025. So you can refer a friend if you are interested, if somebody wants to buy, you can use the refer a friend link. It's at the bottom of every single page of our website. You go scan to the bottom, it says refer a friend, click it, fill that out, let us know the details and we will reach out to your friend for you. I hope I didn't say that too fast. Now, Meredith, can you pick three people? We need three winners. Um, and we are going to get this going uh, here. Let's see if we have any questions. Somebody wants a Zoom paddle. If you win this, you guys, if you win this, um, if you don't need the Mag Energy Map, that's okay. Okay. You don't have to have it. We will, we can work with you and get you what you do want. Okay. So um, obviously it would have to be an attachment that is equal to or lesser in value, but I'm just putting that out there. Don't be too upset. Um, Dad, somebody, Cheryl said, where in California are you, Pat? I'm in uh, Los Angeles at the Hollywood Hilton is the hotel that we're in enjoying it very much but we're in los angeles we're going to go down and uh, tomorrow and check out the you know the the uh, stars and the sidewalk and and the theater and all that kind of stuff so we're looking forward to that okay so let's do this let me see who the winners are here so um in so oh who do i pick okay first of all i'm gonna say our winner of the uh bag so this is our first winner of this bag full of goodies and you're going to get success in any economy by pat zemer and brian tracy in this bag this that is going to charles vanderberg congratulations charles you have won this amazing prize and if you have not gotten this mag energy mat bag or this magna bag as we like to call it this is great you can fit a whole semi tin or spiro click in this front pocket right here love these congratulations charles uh number two our winner for the next bag that is that is the bag with the book is hannah winters congratulations hannah. congratulations hannah and charles um and then i'm going to say in just a second i'm going to hold you all on for one more minute and then i'm going to tell you who won the mag energy mat um mm -mm, pick me people are saying let me make sure we don't have any questions do you guys have any attachments, demo attachments? Yes, we have demo attachments that come and go. The best way to get a demo attachment is to get talk to your product specialist and let them know what demo attachment you want. And they will keep an eye out for you. And when one comes up, they will let you know. Um, okay, I've got so many questions on here. Uh, do you prefer the Maya Pro or Julian? Just personal opinions wanted. I don't know, uh, Sabrina, if you're asking me. It, it, and and my dad, but I, I will give you my personal opinion if you would like to know. I prefer um, the Julian and the Maya Pro. Okay, I like them both. I like them both. Uh, they are about the same size. They're both in all-terrain cases. Um, I guess it depends on what, what you're asking me, how I would be using it, because it's a little bit different. Um, I guess my question to you, my question to you, Sabrina, is have you used both types of machine, digital and smart chamber? And if you haven't used, if you've used one, which one did you like the best? Because it's more about the feeling than anything. I love right. the remote control and both machines have the remote control. So I would say that they are both my favorite. I also really like that the Maya Pro has the uh, Schumann resonance. So I have a Julian at home, but I have a Maya Pro in my office. So I use them both. They're, they're equally, I love them both. But I don't I think she may have just been asking other people in the comments, but I read that. Dad, what do you think? Which one do you like? Well, you know, again, it, it's, a, it's a personal preference. Um, I, I, gee whiz, I, there's times that I like the digital because it's a little softer. Uh, and then there's other times that I like the uh, the Julian uh, because it is a little stronger, if you will, or at least it feels stronger. And so, you know, it, it's a it's a personal taste type of situation. They're both beneficial. They both work very well. I guess from a practical situation, if if uh, the digital certainly is going to require less maintenance over the years. So that's something to consider or think about. 
And uh, but outside of that, they are just two different fields. They're doing the exact same type of energy, but it's it's whatever you prefer. Yeah. And so somebody asked if the semi tin has the um, Schumann resonance. It does have the Schumann resonance, but on the Maya Pro, the Schumann resonance is 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 the first setting on the machine. So it runs on its own if you wanted to. Um, and then it runs underneath each setting as so there's two magnetic field pulsings going on under each setting on the Maya Pro. The semi tin does not have that Schumann resonance on its own, but it does have it under each setting of the 10 settings of the semi tin. So you will get the Schumann resonance running under each setting, but it does not stand alone run the Schumann resonance. And you may say, when is that really good? Um, you've probably seen ads for grounding sheets, grounding things. It, it really is good whenever you want to bring that ground into your life but it also is good for maybe people or i mean for animals that are more sensitive to magnetic fields and you want to get them started at uh, a lower setting and kind of ease them in uh but great for uh all over grounding which is very important you know take your shoes off walk in the grass my friends um take your okay. shoes off sit in a chair put the hoof underneath your feet and uh not the hoof but the coil underneath your feet and uh, treat away and that's great for headaches and relaxation and grounding at the same time what is the benefit of upgrading from the semi? Uh, Cheyenne Ray wants to know. Well, what, what you're really going to do is you're going to get a larger amount of settings. So you're going to have a, a much stronger machine. It's still going to be able to go low like your semi, but you're going to be able to get much stronger, which can then, you know, it penetrates the depth. Can pen penetration can be more, but also um, really the amount of sessions you can do in a day. Specifically, if you're upgrading to something like the Julian Duo or the Julian where you might want a remote. Uh, the, not only is the Julian and the Maya Pro have a remote, but they also have an app for your phone that you can control your machine from that app. Uh, that's excellent. Um, I know a lot of people who work with dogs who can't get too close. They, they don't put the machine right there. They usually are stepped away from the machine. They The dog, especially aggressive dogs, um, maybe dogs that have been through some sort of trauma where they'll they'll keep the mat across the room the dog will lay down with their handler and they are able to control the machine without walking up to the machine without stepping away just really easy from that remote or that app so there's lots of benefits there for upgrading it really just depends on if you need to upgrade or not how your business is growing a lot of people will add a second machine and then rent out their semi tin once they grow outgrow that semi tin that's extremely popular that's a great way to bring in more revenue which we're going to talk a lot about in the business builder class so um who won uh this this is daisy ellen daisy ellen congratulations you won congratulations daisy yay you won the mag energy mat and the book so I appreciate you guys so much for uh, watching today. Dad, do you have anything you want to end with? Well, I just want to uh, thank you all for being here today. Great questions. It's always enjoyable to uh, spend some, some time with you. Uh, we'll keep you up to speed on, on what's going on out here in California this week and uh, any, we've got some other books and so forth. So we'll just uh, stay with that and wave on to better health and go all the way with MagnaWay. I love that. One more thing. Make sure you sign up for Vet Talk if you're a practitioner. Sign up for the Business Builder course. Congratulations, Charles, Hannah, and Daisy. Um, thank you guys so much. Don't forget, we, we are going to be live next month again at Office Hours. That is uh, in 27 days, Tuesday, October 1st noon eastern standard time and vet talk is wednesday september 25th 6 30 to 7 30 p.m eastern standard time you can sign up for all of those lives in our portal thanks again look at that beautiful weather that uh pat is experiencing there in california everyone have a wonderful rest of your day see ya bye bye